Hi guys, the Kitchen Fairy here with Jujube Steam It and Steam and next to me is our 2019 uh, gingerbread house which I'm gonna show you more in detail soon so this is what we entered we are entering well I'm recording now <laughs> it's still November but the the deadline is December 6 um, so yeah I'm pre-recording it um, this is what we're gonna enter this is for BC 2020 winter games and the theme is we are the north I'm gonna show you the recipe as well obviously how I made this so check out the full video thanks for watching bye For the dry ingredients, I have three and quarter cup of all-purpose flour, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon each of cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and two teaspoon of ginger powder, and we just mix it. Now we're gonna cream eight tablespoon of vegetable shortening with half cup of brown sugar and then later on we're gonna add in two flakes egg and also half cup of molasses you can use dark light or fancy molasses or table molasses whichever you have adding the flax egg and half of the half um, molasses so about quarter cup for now and then we're gonna add the quarter the last quarter cup later you want to scrape down the sides so everything mixed properly bit in the flour a little at a time then we're gonna add in the leftover of the quarter cup of the molasses so it's like alternating flour and molasses now once it's all mixed you want to knead this mixture until they form a dough, a ball, a ball of dough. Just need to put your hand for a little bit until they are forming like a nice mess, like a dough, like a bread dough. The dough is ready. We're gonna roll it flat and we're gonna cut it with whichever template you have. And then we're gonna bake it for uh, four to five minutes on preheated 350 Fahrenheit. And then we're gonna cut it with pizza cutter. Pull away the excess, we can re-roll it to make other parts of the house. Place it directly on the cookie sheet pan without greased or floured so as is now it's ready to be baked once you took out the cookies you want to cool them completely before you start assembling them
just waiting until the hard candy which is gonna be our window gonna be totally hard when you have everything ready gingerbread is baked sugar glass is done you can start decorating with whatever you like food color icing sugar or royal icing or fondant some people use uh, chocolate paste or chocolate clay or gum paste so whichever that suits you best for the royal icing this is six tablespoon of aqua faba water bean uh, and i added one cup of icing sugar at a time until it's thick enough so about four cups or so You should beat the aquafaba and icing sugar and also cream of tartar a pinch I I forgot to mention that until really stiff and white your roll icing is ready you want to store it in the container if you don't use it right away you can tint this with food colors uh, and also thin it a little with water or your milk so it will be spreadable otherwise this is good for gluing your the thick one is good for gluing your gingerbread houses now we're gonna attach the sugar glass as the window and we're gonna use royal icing Wipe the royal icing on the gingerbread cookies and then press the sugar glass and if you want to you can secure the top again with some icing sugar I mean royal ice now that your pieces are dry we're gonna start gluing it to the board because this is not to be consumed I glue it right away to the baseboard otherwise if it's for consuming, you have to cover the baseboard. This is with royal icing. Each time you want to let the pieces dry first before you attach another one. So I'm gonna have to build more of this side. So it will be like a slope hill. It's getting there. So I added light, but it's not done yet. Uh, our 2009 house. The theme is we are the north, and it's for winter games in BC. So we chose the skiing theme. Inside the house, there's a Christmas tree, and also, yeah, you can't see three choir singers. So cool. Why are you singing?